Okay. How to fix seats. This is leather. But you can do it with leather or vinyl. Um, I have done it with like a heavy duty vinyl. Or a lot of times you'll see seats in the trash on the street. And you can get this. There's a place uh, up by Fayetteville, Tennessee. That's a wholesale fabric place. And they have every color of this leather look stuff. And the heavy duty. And it's really reasonable. I used to go up there and buy it by the, the linear rolls. Because I did a lot of chaps. But... Uh, and then I would use this, which is great stuff. Um, it's a fabric mender, but it's waterproof, and it's forever. I did it on, I was engaged to a guy that was a CPA, and he smoked a pipe, and he would always splash the ashes from the pipe in his mouth uh, when he was talking, and... Uh, he would ruin these beautiful suits, these high dollar suits. Um, and uh, so I would mend the fabric, make it like brand new. Uh, like they do at the dry cleaners. I know how to do that. Really, really good. Still do. But anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a plastic bag or a Ziploc bag that's like clear. Um... I don't want to use a trash bag because sometimes they're white, yellow, whatever, and the print will come back up through there, so I don't want to do that. And you can do it while this is in the car, or I've already taken this one out. Let me take this foam up real quick. Ugh. You got to put it on its side and push it down so you can get the stuff off. Here it goes. This has coiling on the bottom. So now this is already hog ring down on these sides, and I don't have my hog ring pliers and rings, but and then this has got the foam in it. Okay. So I can't get to that part, so I'm going to have to go over the top. So, um, let me put this back on. And this does have a sensor in the seat. It's it's like a seatbelt sensor thing. But uh, it's okay because it's been unplugged, but I'm not going to put anything on that. So it's protected as it goes down the middle of the seat. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take and slice this so I can get into it better because I'm going to have to repair it anyway. And I'm going to slide this plastic in here. Now I washed this seed about a week ago the soap and water and let it thoroughly dry. And then... Today, I used like 100% alcohol and rag and wiped it down real good to get all the dirt and stuff out of it. This one's 91%. Um, but if you can get 90 or 100, it's great. Because it dries quickly and it cleans. And yeah, you'll probably lose some of the uh, dye off of the seat when you're doing this because... Um, the alcohol will strip it off. Make sure it's thoroughly dry. Let's see, I'm not going to be able to do this this way. Because I have to get back in here. Okay, we're going to have to go without. Okay, so what I'm going to do... This is interfacing, but it's webbed. It's a mesh... And I've used uh, produce bags because it's it's meshed so to hold. Um, but you want to use something that's kind of see-through with a loose weave to it. Um, real loose weave. 
it can be way looser than this actually and then I'm going to take and use the the rougher side so it can mount in there so I'm going to put this under there and get it real smooth bring it down here now of course it's better to take it to a and let them redo it <coughs> when I was in the car business we used to take a lot of these leather seats and let we had a guy named Lincoln that did them down in the worst part of Dothan. And he was really good. It was like $20 each section. But probably because we were commercial, we used to do some work with him. And um, what I didn't fix, we'd take to him. And he'd pull a whole section out. Do it for like 25 bucks, And he would order fabric that just absolutely matched. And um, perfect color match. And... Uh, They'd have it done in about a week. We had to order the exact color fabric. That is well worth it. It's better for the value of the car to copy what it, what's in it. Like this is leather. You can order these seat covers and gather about as high as having the seats covered. And I also make some seat covers, but I don't have my straight liner machine. So get it as, as flat and level as you can. I'm going to go ahead and put another piece up here. See, I got the seam here, so it's hog ring down in here. So I've got to find a way to that pretty close to where I can tuck it without it folding too much. And what this will do is keep it from breaking apart again. It stabilizes it. Unfortunately, it's going to stick to this foam a little bit. Maybe it won't. Just depends if I use a lot of goo. And then I can pin it down to dry, which is one of my favorite ways to do it. I usually have to use pliers to pull the pins back out because they glue in. Or, um, or you can put a brick on top of it. Or just keep pushing on it as it's drying. Make sure you have an open window. Do not smoke. Do not light a lighter. Make sure you're not like in your house doing it over a gas stove with pilots running because this stuff is flammable. But you can do it in your car, too. You don't want to do it on a really, really hot day, and don't do it on a rainy day. Because the humidity is way too high. The cooler it is, the better it is, but you've got to make sure you have air to breathe. Because the stuff is not good for you to breathe. But it will set very quickly. You just have to have something to hold the sides together. Now, I've literally pushed them together. Done one side and then pushed it together. But this is pulled back because I washed it with soap and water. So, it's pulled back. But that's okay. I just wanted it really, really clean. And then, what I'm going to do is... Seat sensor runs all the way down here, but it's under that one piece of foam that we're working over. This may come out pretty good. I may not even have to tack it down. So, you got to make sure this stuff is pretty. Then when it gets too thick, you can't thin it back out. And you have to use acetone. It needs to be acetone. And you just put like a half teaspoon in it at a time. But this stuff will eventually turn to rock real quick. Because any amount of time you leave it open, it's drying. But it's great stuff. It's about $15 a bottle. We get the fabric tack by Beacon. You can get it at Joanne Fabrics. You can order it online. Get it at Michael's. Some plasticware. 
Okay, so this is going to be the first part. So this is going to be a several part series, so you'll need to pay attention and look at the other parts. I'm going to use this quickly because it will set. I'll always wipe the top because it will glue its lid back on it. In a real short order. Close it fast. And then we'll take this. And try to lay it in here. We'll start with this bottom first. See how fast that's drying? Like really fast. Get these corners. Start laying it down. Let's see if I can tuck this through. You want to let this dry for like 24 hours, or you could actually take it out in the heat in your car and shut the door, let it sit in heat, or put it on the patio. You just don't want dirt and stuff to get into it. Okay, that's pretty straight. Keep checking that. Okay, let's get some more of this. It sets really, really quick. Love this stuff, but boy, I'll tell you what, if you don't use it a lot, it will dry up and you've got to check on it and throw a little bit of half teaspoon of acetone in it. That way it has something to hold on to. And it's not going to come back apart. This one's coming up nicely. Push this back. So I don't have too much buckle in it. That's pretty good. I have to have some more goo. Oop, that was too much. Make 
sure you tuck it in. Try to get it as tight as you can. Really push it, hold it down. Do this one again. very fast. Okay, let's get to this next one. Use this flat edge. Okay. I've been a car base for a lot of years and because I can really sew I know a lot of stuff, so we had a high end day one time that just needed a minor door handle repair. It was really a good looking car, super clean, but the door handle was nasty, and we really didn't have time to send it to the upholstery guy and really didn't want to put the money into it because we knew it would sell as soon as it was seen on the lot. So I went ahead and fixed it. Went down to Joanne Fabrics and got some fabric and fixed it look pretty much like this. And the car was instantly sold. Tuck that down. Try to get all the wave you can out of it. But like I say, you could do this in the car. It's easier than taking all this off. I took this off because I was just going to sew some new parts on the cover. But I don't have my industrial machine, my high stepper. And that's the one that works leather and this stuff very, very well. So, I don't... I used to have people all the time go, Can you do seat covers? Do you do boat covers? I'm like, no. The only time I do seat covers and headliners and stuff like that is for myself. I hate doing them. I do not like it. Um... I don't it's bad because in the south leather gets really cold in the winter and very sweaty in the summer. And so you have to put a towel down when you're driving a car in the summer if you're wearing shorts. What we got okay, we got something here. So make 
Try to get all the buckle out of it. As much as we can. A poopy do. You gotta hold it down when you pull the knife out. Now this cover is gonna stretch when it goes back over the frame anyway. So it'll be a lot neater, but I'm gonna try to get it as neat as I can right this minute. dry so it goes really quick if you get it on your hands you gotta use acetone to get it off and then wash your hands immediately You really want to try to get that webbing up under a lot of it because it will keep it from ripping any further if you have some kind of foundation. It's really like a house foundation. If it's good, it'll stay. But, I mean, it's wonderful if you got an upholstery guy that's fairly reasonable. I even seat covers for this are high in the leather. They're real good ones. And it's a big nightmare to take them apart. You get out of the hog fires and all that stuff and the hog rings. And you could buy a set of used seats on eBay and go hits like a thousand dollars. I do this on vinyl or leather. These come out pretty decent, they're not too bad. Like I say, a lot of that will stretch when it goes under, and I'll probably put, when I get done, I'll probably put a thin layer of foam here and two thin pieces over here on the sides to uh, really support it nicely. And you can also buy the new foam piece too, but you still got to have the hog ring pliers. So, I just figured I'll get some excess off the top. You don't need it, it's not gonna make a big difference really because we're gonna use a different product to go over the top. We just want this to mate to that webbing. That's the biggest thing right now. Let's get it to mate. Right before it's completely totally dry, you can roll a lot of this off. Make sure your hands are clean, you don't have oils on your hands. You want to have a really good bonding surface. My ex was such a bad car dealing crook, I don't know. I get scared using any of our old guys because he he's burned the devil out of people. It was I used to tell him, you're like a tornado. You just wipe out everything in, in its path. A very volatile individual. Wished I'd have known it years ago. Very volatile. No, I'm not.
not talking about Georgie. Georgie is a pretty good man. This is another guy I was with for many, many years. Married to. I had to divorce him to make sure the feds weren't coming after me. Years later, for what he, I found out he started doing. That he'd been doing for years and I didn't even know. But boy, when I found out, I was like, running! But trust me, I did my part. Notifying the authorities, that's for sure. In fact, they came looking for me at one point. And I was like, like that song, Starry Starry Night. You know, they're not listening, they're not listening still. Perhaps they never will. Well, they come knocking at the door one day and said, Hi, we'd like to talk to you. And I handed them all kinds of files from the computer, from the business computer that I just so happened to have. By pure accident, kind of fell into my lap. And they were just thrilled to bits. And he was busy telling everybody I was crazy. <laughs> yeah, well... That didn't work. Nope, that did not succeed. I was telling the truth all along. And they realized it way later. And divorced that cat. It wasn't all about Cadillacs and fur coats either. It was just to be clear from the feds. Because I didn't do anything. I just found out what he was doing. And I wanted out of that picture. I did not want to suffer that because I was raising a kid. And I didn't want to be doing pen time for stuff I didn't even do. So yeah, I rolled him. But he had a lot of connects, so. But his power, I think, is about to run out. Those people, I think, are running too. We're talking sheriffs, police. DAs, all kinds of stuff. They were all involved in that. People that like free cars. Free cars for favors. Cops. Police chiefs. All kinds of interesting cats. Okay, so there we have it. And we're going to let that dry. And clean our hands off. Get this stuff off. And, uh... There you have it. But that's, that works really, really well. So that's our beginning. Of what we're starting with. We'll let that dry up real good. And then we'll get the rest of this all done. And I'll show you how to do that. And uh, we'll talk to you later. This is part one. Have a great one.